Hello guys, PLC Programming and Automation. Today we're going to look at how to draw star delta control wiring. Okay. The last time we have learned about how to draw the wiring diagram. So we are going to continue from there. You can see that we have a circuit breaker, three contactors, one overload, and one motor. And with this um, wiring diagram, we're going to draw the control diagram as well. So, guys, let's start. Okay, we will need a timer which is on delay timer. Okay, then we also need the coil of the contactor. Okay need three so these are the components okay then we will also introduce um overload relay okay overload relay then we introduce stop then we also introduce that okay so let's arrange them nicely Okay, then I will just wire the stop and then the start and then the overload relay. Okay. Then we will introduce auxiliary contact here. Okay. Then we will also introduce auxiliary contact of a timer. Okay, then we will also introduce normally open of the timer. Okay, then I will also introduce auxiliary contact. Okay, to be two auxiliary contact. Then we need to wire the control. Okay.
here. Then let's drop the timer a little. So guys, you can use this. You can follow this system for your wiring. Okay. So we are almost done with the wiring, okay? After then we address component. Then we also introduce a single pole grid. Okay. It's very important to introduce a single pole. Then we introduce the line. We also need to introduce neutral line. Okay. So don't forget the neutral bar. All right, so after you finish with the control wiring, you need to address the component, okay? It's very important. If you don't address the component, it will not work, okay? Because them um, to address your component. So we start with the timer, okay? So I'll just name T, T1, okay, with the timer. Then with this one, I will use that is KM1, okay. Then here will be KM2, okay. That is delta. Then here I will just use KM3, KM3, okay. Then we come to auxiliary contact, which here will be KM2, okay. Then here also will be KM1, okay. Then we bring this place. KM3 and here will be KM1. Okay, then the timer will be T1, T1. Okay, then don't forget the timer, we need to set it. So let's say five seconds, okay? Timer will be in five seconds. Okay. Then stop button, I will just see S, B, 2. Then the start and the stop will be um, S, B1. Okay. Then here will be the auxiliary contact of um, the main. Okay. K M3. Okay. Then the fuse. And then the overload. O L R. Then 
breaker can be B K R. Okay. So this is how the addressing goes. And guys, if you find this video very helpful, kindly help me by subscribing and sharing. So let's simulate it and then we see how it works. Okay. So the contactor, sorry, the circuit breaker is on and the single pole also is on. Then you energize it. You see that the timer is counting, the motor also is on. So when it accumulates, it will change to delta. Okay. Now it accumulates, but we are not seeing the change. So let's try to rectify why it's not switching. Check. Okay. We look at the overload is okay. Stop push button is okay. Start is okay. The, so I see that the addressing is a mistake. Okay, so with the timer. Okay, so you see that I did a TI, which means which is supposed to be T1. Okay, so we delete it and make it 1. So T1. See that it corresponds. So let's try to simulate it again. Okay. So the timer is counting. When it accumulates, you see that after it accumulates, it switch from the star to delta. Okay, let off it and then on it again. See that it the timer is counting. Okay, now it's zero. It's change state. And then when the motor um sense an overload the overload relay will trip okay the overload relay will trip and then the whole system will go off okay so you see that the overload relay trips so the whole control is off okay then when you reset it then you on it again okay so guys Thank you for watching this video and God bless us all.